Hey everybody, um, my name is Ashley. Just got like a couple of minutes before work here. Um, I have psoriasis and I've had it for like 17 years. It came out when I was in high school. And um, recently it's it's been really bad. It's, it's extremely flared up. It's in my scalp, it's in my ears. Um, it's all up my arms and my stomach, my breasts, my back, my legs, everywhere. Um, and it's extremely itchy and painful this, this time. It's, um, like right now just having my clothes on, I have a sports bra on, just having my clothes on, um, it feels like my skin is on fire. It feels like my back is burning. Um, and it fucking sucks. So I had read a whole lot of stuff about, you know, in the past about gut health and, uh, psoriasis and, you know, how like you can't really treat the skin. You, you have to like treat your gut and everything I read up was like, well, you have to give up this. You have to give up that. You have to give up this. And I was just like, no way I can't do that. Um, and so I've tried all kinds of different things. Um, I tried, uh, like topicals and then I started like trying to heal my gut. So I went with, um, it was like grapefruit seed extract and, um, oil of oregano or like oregano extract, sorry. And, um, so it's like for candida support because from all the reading that I've done is that if you take antibiotics, you mess up your gut flora. And, like, years of bad eating, um, a lot of alcohol consumption, um, all kinds of things can really mess with your gut health, but namely antibiotics. I just so happen to be one of those people that takes about two rounds of antibiotics every year. Um, my bottom jaw is quite small, and uh, my eustachian tubes that drain my ears down here into my throat are very narrow. So whenever I get a cold or even sometimes if I have bad allergies, seasonal allergies, these like excess mucus gets produced. These don't drain properly and I end up with sinus and ear infections. So that's been like most of my entire life. Sinus and ear infections um, have pretty much been the whole reason why I end up having to take so many rounds of antibiotics. This winter alone, um, through ear and sinus infections, I was on four rounds of antibiotics just the winter. So, um, I am going to say that is probably the cause of this particular outbreak is that I have just literally killed off all the good bacteria in my gut that helps to keep all of the other stuff in check. Um, so I watched a video last night by this Nick guy on, um, YouTube and he posted like five years ago and he had some really, really good results. And basically he just talked about how you have to take 12 weeks, possibly longer if your gut healing or your gut health is, is pretty poor. And you basically just take the first six weeks and you don't eat any dairy or sugar or grains, basically chicken, beef, fish, and vegetables. And then you can slowly add in, like after six weeks, start to add in like maybe a little bit of fruit. And after a little bit, like you could start to try to add in some dairy. And then later on, um, like a serving or two of like whole greens. Um, I just happened to do keto like last, last summer. And um, so I learned through that process that it is possible to cut out sugar. Um, I know that sugar has no nutritional value to my body. I know that I develop an addiction to it and I know that it's, um, it's, it's not healthy for my body. So today marks day one of my journey to heal my gut and heal my skin. Um, but I was struggling this morning to start off because I need to do the awakes and I can't do the awakes without coffee and I can't do the coffee without the sugars and um, the creams. So I have a two and four here. I'm going to drink this and then I'm going to continue on with uh, the rest of, you know, following these dietary restrictions 
for the rest of the day and hopefully tomorrow I will be after picking up, I know I had a friend recommend to me the um, almond silk coffee sweet or coffee whitener. So I'm going to try some of that and see if that helps and maybe I could just not use, um, it's probably going to depend on how much sugar is in it. But um, either way, I don't know. If I can't find, I don't mind stevia, but if I can't find a good replacement like to make my coffee taste good, um, I'll probably just give it up altogether and find something else that I can drink in the morning, like some kind of fucking vegetable smoothie or some shit. Anyways, here goes day one, and uh, I'll keep you guys posted on how this goes, and um, yeah, wish me luck. <laughs>